First of all this is my second mocha tutorial and I hope my previous tutorials you guys I loved a lot and yes I got the response as well so today I'll show you how you can remove this character inside of mocha no need to use nuke or after effects or any kind of compositing software because this is a update in mocha uh, new version this is mocha 2019.5 version so let's play this footage first so this is a footage, uh, I don't know from how I get this, I a link is in description, just go and download this footage and use and make start your own creativity. So today I'll uh, remove this liberty from this uh, footage by using Mocha Pro. So first of all, what do you have to do? We have to track this character. So first understand that what we are trying to do, we have to remove this character, right? So for this, we have to track our background as well and this liberty as well. So first of all, I track this background first. So just take X plane from here and start like a rough kind of like this. Don't make it so much precise just like this okay cool so this is enough and you can adjust it as per your requirement and then obviously uh, whatever you're doing make sure it should be in your first frame so move it in a little bit center and then just see this is a very slow motion so you're doing it like a slow motion like like small motion then uh, release this all then t make it like 100 enter and then just uh, sorry this press this track to next frame you can do it like frame by frame or just track forward okay so I'm just going it like track next frame to check that its track is happening or not so whenever you are pressing the first time in play button or the track button the track will calculate some time so it takes some time after that it's not necessary so you just click click see the track is happening so when you're happy with your track just play it for the forward track or some kind of thing okay so now its track is happening so guys uh, mocha is one kind of software where you can track most of the critical kind of shots uh, which you didn't get in nuke as well but yes if you have any match move information then the thing is different but when you not you and you can't track it in any kind of software mocha you can use and the result will be pretty awesome uh, it's my personal opinion don't quote me on this maybe sometimes based on some footage it may be changed okay so the track is done you can see it's really good and uh, see it's nice so now what I have to do I have to make one more shape just take explain and just little zoom it and for this I'm using this Liberty okay so just make it little precise because we have to remove this Liberty from this footage like this and then shape should go like this cool and it go like this okay so what do you have to do you can track this liberty as well but uh, guys see this already the background is following this liberty right so what do you have to do nothing just link to track from layer 6 to layer 5 so now what happened this liberty's track is now linked on this one okay so this one actually linked to this or this one linked to this okay so by using this way you don't need to track again and when you are doing track again maybe sometimes the track may be distorted or maybe some changes okay so what do you have to do just zoom it back now the main thing you have to remove this right so this is our liberty so rename it like uh, character and this is like a BG okay now what you have to do make this character and this BG okay so make the character move it up like this or may maybe it's down okay so now select this okay sorry it's not character my mistake it's BG and this is a character cool it's fine so this character is right now down so just make it up no it's fine okay so uh, click this 
and uh, turn this off and click this on now go to this remove tab where you can find some options over there where's the input clip this is liberty which is my uh, footage right now and there is an output option over there so no need to click this just go to this input option over there you can see the clean plate clean plate clip option is there so what you have to do just press create when you press create you uh, the browser will open and you just like uh, clean plate and then just press save so what happened when you open photoshop and from here file open and you can see there's already a clean plate created i already done this before so these are the renders just open it and see this is a clean plate it, uh, this should this will be a clean plate so what we have to do in photoshop we have to remove this liberty completely so first of all select this uh, option and then just start a rough kind of masking uh, or can we get into the selection and then just move it like this fine so this is uh, sorry control set it's done now right click fill and make contained aware and then press just ok so what happened it automatically remove it like this ok so then use your patch tool drag it like this and see this is a blurred kind of thing will happen then use your clone stamp and use this as your mask for this one then just clone it like this so now it's completely cloned and control D and let's just add some flathers because these areas are a little sharp so it's feel not like it's removed or something in manual so i hope this is fine so now what i have to do i have to replace this one to my clean plate so save as and this is my clean plate one so just select this and save so what i'm showing is replacing so press ok so what happened it's just like ok so it's already replaced right now so now just open mocha pro again and obviously select this liberty and then you can see there's a clean plate option is showing here okay this clean plate and then you have to on this use clean plate this option so turn this checkbox now see there's a three option one is none linear and interpolate when the lighting will change some kind of flickering over there then you have to use the linear or interpolate but sometimes i'm using linear because uh, if there is any light kind of changes it will automatically fix and then make it blend amount like uh, 25 and then nothing you have to do you have to press this option which is called the render option so render the current frame so when you press this option you can see this will remove now i'm turn off this mask option so nothing will be visible so now when you go to the next frame you can see the entire thing is removed so for better purpose you just re-render it render forward now see it's right now rendering for a purpose that it should be proper way it should be in proper uh, direction the track will be proper that's why this should render so why i'm doing this render the reason is the rend when you are doing it render if there is any tracking kind of issue it will fix automatically so right now you can see i'm just stopping the render because i already done this before so now see this already remove okay so when entire uh, tracking is complete and some kind of render will complete the output is exactly look like this so i think guys you guys can understand this mocha new update it's so much interesting and you guys already love this lot so hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and yes if you really love this then don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share and very soon my channel will cross 5000 subscribers so if you have any questions and related anything comment anywhere or follow me in my facebook instagram and obviously youtube I will see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy and bye-bye.